I sent you to the mud area. Now I'm sending you to the depth of the ocean. When you come to worship, don't bring me something from the surface. Go deep. Go deep in your soul. God says, I want to worship that comes from the depth of your life, not some little religious formality, not a little cute lifting of the hand, not a little praise the Lord, I'm blessed and highly favored. No, 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 no. God said, I want you to go deep into your inner man and give me something that has cost you. Give me something that you don't tell everybody about yourself. Give me that side of you that nobody knows but you. Give it to me when you come to worship. He says, on the surface of the water, all the debris and scum reside. Don't bring me nothing from the surface. Go beneath the scum, something that comes out the depths of your heart, something that you don't tell and share with everybody. I want the deep things. I want your struggles. I want your concerns. I want your whys. Bring your broken pieces and open them up with me. That honor is a substance that is found directly behind the fin of the fish. Glory to God. And when this fish opens its fins, where the onager is found, you can see right through the fish. When this fish swims in the ocean, every time the breeze of the water, the move of the ocean, strikes its body, it opens its fins and becomes transparent. God is saying, bring me onager. Because I'm looking for worshipers who are affected by the move of my spirit. I'm looking for worshipers who feel the move of the spirit. And when the spirit strikes them, no one has to say, lift your hands. No one has to say, come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Not when you're true worshipers. Uh, I'm looking for that worshiper that when the, the breath of the Lord breathes over you, the saints used to say, let it breathe on me. Let it breathe on me. Let the breath of the Lord, because when he does that to your situation, when he does that to your life, your fins go. You ought to lift them. You ought to lift them. Today, you like the fish, lift your fins. You like the fish, well lift your fins. You are that fish that swims in the deep of the spirit where the deep calleth upon the deep. Your arms and your hands are the fins and we lift them in the presence of the Lord. Lift them in the presence of the Lord and let him on you today. My last point, your worship must have Galbanum. The substance of Galbanum is found in the stalk of a reed. This is the chief characteristic of Galbanum. is that you won't even know that it exists until you break the stalk. But once you have broken the stalk, the Galbanum begins to flow out of every place that was cracked, every place that was broken. Galbanum can't be stopped once the reed is broken. If you try to stop it with your hand, it's going to ooze through your fingers. Galbanum exists when the stalk, because it has no outlet until the stalk is broken. Galbanum Galbanum, everybody said Galbanum. That's why you got to understand that some folk have to praise because of all the places they've been broken. Don't criticize and say, there she goes again. There he goes again. It don't take all of that, all of that running, all of that jumping. Maybe you haven't been where they been. Tell your neighbor, you haven't been where I've been. You haven't been broken where I'm broken. <laughs> they have to shout. They have to holler. They have to dance if they don't have an organ or a Leslie speaker. High five 
when people say I have to do this I have to do this this anointing cost me that divorce cost me that teen pregnancy cost me that diagnosis from the doctor cost me but when he broke me somebody shouted here Oh Lord, oh Lord, just tell your neighbor I'm losing right now. I can't answer all of your whys. Because Bishop, I have some whys that have not been answered. But I will tell you from personal experience. As a worshiper, uh, the purpose of your pain mm. tell your neighbor don't take it personal the purpose ooh, of your pain the purpose of your crushing the purpose of him going through the mud to pull you out the purpose of you going to the depth for him to get the honor to out of you the purpose of your galbanum was creating an outlet for your worship to come from your soul. So God knew the worship that he placed in you before you were formed in your mother's womb. But the only way God could get it out of you was to take you through some things that would break you. I know all of us would like to design our own suffering. All of us would like to design the trials that we go through. But I'm so glad God won't take you where his grace can't keep you. God won't take you through a trial and drop you off at the door. But yea, though I walk through the valley and the very shadow of death, I've got the hand of the Lord. Somebody tell your neighbor, I got his hand. But in every place that you've been broken, God has created an outlet that the God paint them up your worship uh, would fall forth, forth into his presence uh, so he desires a worshiper who has a contrite uh, and a repentant and broken spirit uh, tell your neighbor the closer you get to God tell him again the closer you get to God the less you get away with uh, the closer you get to God uh, the less he's gonna let you get away with uh, the more you worship uh, the less you get away with uh, cause worship's not a playground it's a warfare you can't come on God's turf uh, and use it as a playground to exercise your expertise but when you come uh, you better come broken uh, when you come uh, you better bring the ugly along with the good and lift up your hands uh, before a God uh, that has sanctified you and made you holy and poured all on you uh, he wants a worshiper that has pride broken uh, he wants a worshiper whose selfishness has been broken. He wants a worshiper whose anger has been broken. And if you're one of those, stand on your feet and lift your fins and shout, here I am. I'm the worshiper you're looking for. I'm the worshiper you've been seeking out. I'm the worshiper who met you at the well. And today, put your hand on your belly. Say, I got a river flowing out of me, living water flowing out of me. So look down your row and tell that river, flow river. Look behind you, tell your river to flow. Touch three people, say I've been anointed for this hour. I've been anointed for this hour. Cause I'm a worshiper.